What's up everyone? It's your girl D here, back again with another video. And first of all, I'm sorry that I'm all up close and in your face right now, but look, I'm hands-free. I just got this little stand and I'm recording on my iPad right now. So I'm trying out this stand for the first time and it's been a long time since I filmed this way. So if it looks like I'm looking up or the video's like up in the ceiling, that's because it's on a tilt on the stand. So um, I suppose I could possibly move you back, but we're going to go with this right now. Uh, before I get into this video, first of all, I want to say if you are new to my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. If you happen to stumble across and find my channel, don't forget to um, like my video, subscribe. Please do that. Subscribe, share my video, you know, and everything. And thank you again for stopping by and finding my video. My name is Dee, by the way, and I like to diamond paint. And for those of you that are my regular, smegular people that always watch my videos and always come and just support me, thank you so much. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for continuing to stick with me. And you too, go ahead, don't forget, you can subscribe to my video too. And you can also leave a comment as well and share my video because that does help the algorithm and that helps other YouTubers out there, or other people that either diamond paint or don't, it helps them see my video. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you all because this video that I'm doing right now is going to be one of my favorite videos that I absolutely love. I absolutely love this type of video. It is my recap of all the diamond paintings that I've completed this year, 2023. I'm, I'm excited about it, you know, and I, I will admit I'm, I'm coming phrasing you first before I get into the video because I haven't really done a lot of diamond paintings this year, 2023. In fact, um, I've only completed like nine of them and um, it's, it's not a lot at all, not compared to what I usually do in years past. Now, I know some of you that don't know me that well are like, well, wow, Deshonda, why come you don't have a lot of diamond paintings that you completed this year? Well, let me tell you a little bit without going into too much detail. 2023 this year has been not the best year for me. It's been very hard, very difficult, very tragic. I had some bad luck, bad, tragic things happen to me in February of this year that put me in a very, very deep and sad depression and I did not pick up the diamond painting pen again for months. Like from February, probably until about June, maybe July around there, maybe May, June, July around there. I didn't do any diamond painting at all. I just couldn't because, again, I was very sad, very depressed. What I went through really put me in a dark place. I mean, like I didn't want to be here anymore, like for real. Like I was strictly depressed like I just didn't want to do it and this year the hits kept coming so it's it's been a bad year it really has been a bad year and I was just not motivated to diamond paint I just wanted I just didn't want to be here I wanted the world to open up and just swallow me in and just just go away I re really did it was it was really bad but um I will explain all the diamond paintings um, that, I, that I'm going to go through and tell you which ones I was working on. Because I was working on one of them before tragedy struck. And I was about a third of the way done. And then tragedy happened. And then I just, I, I, I didn't pick up a diamond painting again. So, but again, I'll explain all of that when I get to the diamond paintings that I've done. Like I said, it was only nine of them this year. And out of the nine that I completed this year... Two of them are not here with me. I um, gifted two of them to a very dear and very good friend of mine. Uh, so I will show you what those two diamond paintings are. And uh, I might do like, I'm going to figure out this editing thing. And either I'm going to do like a voiceover or like a picture in picture or show a video or show a picture or something. 
I'm going to do something with the editing so that you can see uh, the diamond paintings that I, that I sent to my friend. And uh, you'll like those. So I can't wait to see those. But yeah, nine diamond paintings in total. And out of the nine, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There are five of them that are hanging up currently in my place. I've got one in my bedroom. Two over here, you can't see them, but you will in a minute. Two over here in my dining room, and then two that are behind me in my kitchen. Again, I'll show you all of those, um, what they all look like and everything. I feel like I need to sit up straight because I feel like, um, again, I feel like I'm leaning back because of this stand. But I do like the stand, and I like being hands-free. This is this is awesome. But I, anyway, I digress. Um, but yeah, I will show you those um, those diamond paintings. And after that, just a little, just another little quick update to tell you too. After the reason why I'm making this video now is because Christmas is in two weeks. You know, New Year's is right around the corner. For and happy holidays to all of you out there that are watching. If you don't celebrate, Merry Christmas to those of you that do celebrate. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. If you're watching this in the future, I hope your New Year, your 2024 is going great and swell so far. But I'm doing this video now kind of early because I know 100% for a fact I'm not going to be completing any more diamond paintings this year in 2023 at all. I'm not I now I'm I'm not going to complete any because Christmas is in 2 weeks. I'm going to be traveling, visiting family, I'm not diamond painting at all. Now, what I will do, I will say this. I will be kidding something up. Yes, sir. I will be having, um, I will be kidding something up because soon it's my birthday. My birthday is also around the corner. And uh, I'm going to kit something up for my birthday. Um, I was born in January. My birthday is 111. I'm a Capricorn. It's almost Capricorn season. That's right. Capricorn is the goat, greatest of all time, of course, of course. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But yeah, um, I'm going to be kitting something up really, really soon. So I'm going to do a video on what I'm going to be kitting up. And I know also uh, just for the future um, and next year too, I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be doing some diamond paintings for my friend a couple more. I'm going to be doing a couple more diamond paintings for my uh, for my friend of mine as well next year. So I know of three diamond paintings that I'll be doing next year for certain. Just just a little recap there for that in the future. But yeah, I think that's enough rambling now. I'm going on for about, what is it? It's eight minutes. We're eight minutes in right now. And I haven't shown you any diamond paintings at this point. I'm just rambling. And you guys did not want to come here for the ramble. You want to see the canvases. You want to see the paintings. And I'm going to show you the paintings. But in the meantime, again, thank you all for stopping by my video. I appreciate you so very much. And leave a comment. If you are a fellow diamond painter, what diamond paintings did you finish this year in 2023? Let me know. Are they the same ones that I did or are they something different? I cannot wait to, uh, to see your finishes as well, okay? And I believe that's everything that I want to say right now. Again, just, just thank y'all. Again, thank you everybody for all of your support and thank you for stopping by my channel. I can't thank you all enough. I really, really do appreciate you even though if there's only like two or three people that see this video, that's it. You know, again, I'm thankful for the two or three of you that have stopped by and have um, seen my video. All right. All right, well, that's all. I'm going to get to the canvases, and I will talk to you next time. Have a fantastic day. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Dee, here, back again with another video. And this here is the start of my finishes 
for the year 2023. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to share and like this video. Leave a comment also if you like and if you are not new to my channel. Again, thank you for stopping by as well. Don't forget to share and like the video. Leave a comment if you like as well. So I wanted to start off this video by showing you one of the first finishes first canvases that I finished in 2023. What you're looking at, this one is called the Capricorn. And this is from the artist. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. His name is Roy Trent. I cannot pronounce his name, but there he, his name is right there. This is called Capricorn. It's a 20 by 20 inches by 20 inches or 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters. And this is 33 colors in this and it is square diamonds and I love this canvas the reason why I did this canvas because those of you that don't know my birthday is January 11th uh yes 111 I am a Capricorn I am a January Capricorn and I love my sign I'm the my sign is the first sign of the zodiac it's where everything begins so I call myself the goat because the Capricorn symbol is the goat and when Roy did this canvas Roy did all of the zodiacs um, on the, a canvas like this all of the zodiac signs I call them the witches they look like witches because they were they all have these little witch hats on and everything um, but, uh, yeah, this canvas is a gorgeous. It is one of my favorite canvases that I did in 2023. This canvas embraces everything that a Capricorn is. That's why it's hanging in my bedroom so that I can look at it every single time. If those of you that don't know the Capricorn, um, um, jewel, or stone is the garnet a garnet is a dark deep red it's not a ruby ruby is a light red garnet is a dark deep red that's why her hat in this canvas is red her veil is red you see there is also red on the goat's horn that she's holding in her hand um red is also my favorite color as well so you can see that where um the red is also I didn't say this but there are one two three four a b's in this canvas also a b's are everywhere they're all in the hat all in the feathers all in the goat and they're everywhere she's holding a goat like I had mentioned because the goat is the symbol of the Capricorn and she also has the Capricorn symbol on her forehead but I just love everything about this canvas it is beautiful I love the mystery behind her veil. I love it. It's amazing. This canvas, unfortunately, is archived. And so are all the are all of the um, Zodiac uh, witches from Roy. Um, I looked on Diamond Art Club's website and it's no longer available. So I'm very thankful and happy that I got this when I did. But for a long time, the Capricorn one was available. As of a few months ago, when I say a few months, I mean like August, September, you could still buy this canvas, but recently it, um, it, it was, it's sold out, I guess, and it's now archived and so are all of his other, um, witches. But yeah, I wanted to start off with this one and I wanted to gush and talk about this because it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this canvas so much. It's so beautiful. Again, this is called the Capricorn by Roy Trin. I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. But yeah, I love this. I love this. I love this. And by the way, let me just say this too. Because this is square, those of you that know or maybe you don't know, when I do my square canvases, I do the checkerboard. I do. I cannot multiplay squares because I'm anal and I want my drills to be straight as an arrow. You know, but um, this canvas, because of the pink background that you see, that was all color blocking, all that pink in the background. So I was forced, I was forced to do some color blocking and it made me practice it. And I think I did a pretty decent job with it. But yeah, again, this is Capricorn. And um, yeah, this is the first finish of mine for 2023.
All right, my next finish of 2023. By the way, this is in no particular order. Um, this one at the top that you're looking at, this is called Life is What You Bake It. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see. It's hanging on my wall right now, and I was too lazy to take it down, but as you can see, that's what it looks like. This one is from Lillian Val. This is 11.8 inches by 15 inches or 30 centimeters by 38 centimeters. There are a total of 34 colors in this canvas and there's one AB. So this one was a very, very small canvas as you can see. And I have it hanging in my kitchen because it's it just fits in my kitchen. Life is what you bake in, uh, what you bake it rather. And it has all these cute little cupcakes and cookies and eggs, everything that you need to bake a cake or cupcake or something like that. So I thought this was cute. This uh, is probably the fastest diamond painting that I finished. This probably took me maybe about a week or two to finish this. By the way, these uh, diamonds are round. If I didn't say that, these are round diamonds. And yeah, I, I don't, I love this canvas. It turned out really, really cute. And it is hanging here on my wall in my kitchen, like I had mentioned. So yeah. Uh, everything was fine with this canvas. Drills were fine. I did a, um, I did a recap or a post review on all the canvases that I'm talking about, by the way. If I remember, I will link them down in the description or up in the cards or somewhere just in case you missed them and you want to hear like my further thoughts on what I thought about these. Um, but also let me just pan on down because this one here, let me stand back a little bit. This is another canvas that I completed. Again, this one's in my kitchen as well. This one is called The Bakery, and I love this one. This one here is Square Drills. Let me get up a little bit close, as you can see. Are you Square Drills? I believe, yeah, you're Square Drills. There is a 1AB um, and uh, 39 colors. And The Bakery is by Bailey J. Baradzu. I might be pronouncing that wrong. And by the way, if I didn't say this too, all of my diamond paintings I completed are from Diamond Art Club. This one's a 20 inches by 16 inches or 51 centimeters by 41 centimeters. Perfect size. Again, this didn't take me long to finish either. I, I finished this one rather quickly. I love everything about this too. So cute little baker with her cupcakes. She has her grapes. She has her cookbooks on one side, her aprons in the background, her little cupcakes, mixing bowl. This is cute, and I love that. It's a, it looks like a cute little girl of color, too. So I love that. I love her hair. Just gorgeous. So both of these canvases, like I had mentioned the other one there, but both of them, they, they, were, they didn't take that long for me to do. I think I did uh, Life is What You Bake It first, and then I did The Bakery. But yeah, I wanted just to show both of those back to back because they are just one. Um, they're both in the same place. They both hang in my kitchen and I plan on putting some more of these in my kitchen also. But yeah, that's the bakery and life is what you make it. All right, here is one of my next finishes of 2023. This is probably, I think this is the second um uh, canvas that I finished in 20 well that I started in 2023 this is the second canvas that I also finished in 2023 I finished it late this one I finished I remember I started it at the beginning of January and I didn't complete it until May because tragically tragedy happened this is the one I was working on for Black History Month and I wanted to submit it in along with another one but I didn't get a chance to do it but anyway, I digress. This canvas is called The Light Bearer. And this is from one of my favorite artists, Manny Manzano. And this one is a 20 by 33 inches or 51 centimeters by 84 centimeters. There are a total of, let me get over here. Uh, let me see, there's my light here. There is a grand total of 47 colors and there were one, two, three, four ABs. And the canvas, um, I'm giving you a close-up of the drills here. These are uh, round. Yeah, this is a round canvas. I thought it was a square, but nope, these are rounds. And this is what she looks like. She hangs on my wall. She's been hanging on my wall since I finished her. Like I was saying before, I was halfway done. I had, I had like a third of this canvas left to do before tragedy struck. And I, and I just, I, I, I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't do anything. 
anymore. I'm so happy that this painting, I was able to finish this painting. Like I said, it, it means a lot to me because um, it's one that kind of got me started again with diamond painting and kind of got me out of my depression a little bit too. And um, I love everything about it. Man, Mandy's work is amazing. I love, one of my favorite things about Mandy's work though is that she outlines everything in this thick black. And I don't mind working with black. 310 is one of my favorite colors. So I love it. And um, I think it turned out beautiful. She is a sunflower fairy. You can see the wings behind her in the details and the sunflowers in her hair and also the sunflower that's on her dress. She is gorgeous. But yeah, this right here is the light bearer. And this is from Mandy Manzano. And right next to that, if I can go on over this one here, Merry Christmas to y'all. Happy holidays to everybody out there watching. This here is the last diamond painting that I completed in 2023. This one is called Checking the List. Let me see who's it by. I'm going to scoot you down here. This is by Marcelo Tor Corti. This is a 22 by 33. 22 inches by 33 inches or 55.8 centimeters by 83.7 centimeters. There is a grand total. Let me get close. There's a grand total of 57 colors. And there were one, two, three, four ABs in this canvas. I just did a, the video right before this one. I did a post review on this video and I did a, a preview too. So if you want to know everything about this canvas and what I thought about it, I suggest you check that video. I don't want to take up too much of your time here gushing over it, but I wanted to, but I got this done right before Christmas. Thank goodness. That was my goal. And I did. This was a square canvas and it's a lot of confetti. If you are one that loves confetti, like I like confetti, you're going to love this canvas. And it looks even better from way back here. Like I'm standing with my, with my iPad uh, kind of back by it, uh, behind, uh, back a little bit further back, I mean. And you can really see the details in like those stockings that are on the mantle, the fire even. Even in the tree, Santa even. I mean, I love everything about this canvas. And I love, 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 love that uh, Diamond Art Club gave us a Santa Claus of color. So gorgeous. Even the, the reef is gorgeous too. But yeah, th I did this one. Got me in the Christmas mood. And it did. I love doing the list. That was one of my favorite things to do. The cat even on the pillow, on the rug gorgeous the drills everything about this was just absolutely gorgeous like I said I I'm, I'm gonna stop rambling on about it because I've already did a review on this video but if you want to know more again just check that video out and yeah this is my most recent finish this is checking the list all right so here's another finish that I did um, in time for Halloween I love this one this one is called happy Jack's glitter moon and this one is by Erin Bartlett. It is a 20 inches by 27 inches or 50.7 centimeters by 68.9 centimeters. And these diamonds are round. And there is a total of 38 colors and there were three ABs. I absolutely love this canvas. It turned out very, very beautiful. It didn't take me long to do this one because it's round again i did a full um post review about this but this canvas is gorgeous it has a lot of confetti especially like in the swirls where all of the magic is happening it looks like all around these pumpkins but this is gorgeous i absolutely love 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 i keep saying that i sound like a broken record but I, all the canvases that I've done this year, I have I enjoy doing them. This one was fun. I remember I did this one because it gave me a break uh, from the canvases that I did uh, before. And it was a different color story. And I wanted to do something for Halloween. So that's what this one is. Again, Happy Jack's Glitter Moon by Erin Bartlett. The drills were great. No problems, no issues. It's the perfect size. And this was a lot of fun to work with. Now, let's see if I can do this one-handed. There's another one that I worked on. Let me move Happy Jack over a little bit. And show you this lovely girl right here. 
This is called Melody, as you can see. And Melody is from Ma Minka Jelena. Mika? Mika or Mika? M Y K A. You see the name. Jelena from Diamond Art Club. I have a couple of her um, canvases. She's one of my favorite artists, too. I love her work. And this is a 22 by 28. Um, inches or 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters and this is again for diamond art club these diamonds are round and there are 31 colors with a total of one to two a B's in them gorgeous gir girl just gorgeous I love 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 the colors of this canvas and all the details especially in like the blades of grass all in her outfit in her guitar gorgeous this one was very confetti heavy at times also but again like i say the more confetti the more detail and this it turned out beautiful i didn't i will say this too with all of my diamond paintings that i've done this year i didn't add any enhancements to these there's a couple i did add there's one i added i added some enhancements to and i'll let you know what that one is but the ones i've shown you so far i've done them as is no enhancements were added or anything and again i did a post review on this um canvas as well if you want to know everything um what i felt about this uh canvas but if I were to make any changes for her, I would definitely have added way more enhancements to this because this canvas is just gorgeous. I, I love this. It reminds, I did this during the summer uh, festival season, you know. She reminds me of the festivals, the EDM festivals, you know, that I, that I love to go to. Coachella, I would love to go to Coachella, but she's giving me Coachella vibes. She's giving me EDC, Las Vegas vibes even, you know. So, yeah, gorgeous. I love everything about it. Love the colors. Beautiful, 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 beautiful color um, palette with all these purples. I'm not purple. Well, there's purple in there, but the background, I mean, with like the pink and the yellow and the orange of the sunset back there. And um, in her guitar and even in her bongos, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It didn't take me long to do this one either because it's round. It um, There's a lot of confetti in it, yes, but again, it was fun to do. And I really, really enjoyed this one. So again, this is Melody by Micah Jelena. All right, everyone, for my next finish that I completed for 2023, and if I have edited this correctly, you should be seeing a picture-in-picture picture either up here or up here or somewhere over my head. If not, you should be seeing a picture or something. This one that you, and I'm, excuse me for looking at my phone. I've got the stats here in Jim's Flow. Shout out to Jim's Flow. Thank goodness for Jim's Flow. But you're looking at um, the diamond painting that I finished for a friend of mine. This one is Superman by Mandy Manzano. It has a total of 51 colors in it. And it is a size 22 inches by 33 inches or 55 centimeters by 82.5 centimeters. Perfect, perfect size. I think that this canvas, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember if I, if I said this, 51 colors, by the way, in this one. I can't remember how many ABs are in this canvas. Or not. I'm sorry, I do know how many ABs. There are four ABs in this canvas. And this canvas turned out absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. The details in this painting is... It, Mandy just knocked it out of the park. She really, really did. And this was the first one that I gifted to my friend, and he absolutely loved it. I learned something new about the background or the bottom part of Superman, where you have you have New York, you have the city, but then you have his home. Gorgeous. Just that part is just gorgeous. Also, the Daily Planet is down there too. This one, I did add some enhancements to this one. Um, I added a few enhancements uh, around his S on his chest and around the, um, on his belt also. And I believe in his eyes too, um, I added some, 
some sparklers. So, you know, shout out to to Mima and DP with sparklers on for that right there. But yeah, this turned out gorgeous and I love his cape. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, red's my favorite um color and his cape, how his cape is flowing in the wind back there in the background is just absolutely gorgeous and the details in this one is just gorgeous. I keep saying that I sound like a broken record because this was my favorite <laughs> Superman uh diamond painting that I did. And like I said, my friend really, really enjoys it. Also, it is hanging in his home currently also as well. But I was so happy to gift this to him. So again, this is Superman by Mandy Manzano. And again, for my last and final finish of 2023 is another painting that I did for my dear good friend of mine. It's another Superman painting. This one is called Truth and Justice. And this one has 45 colors in it. And again, if I've edited this correctly, you should be seeing a picture in picture, maybe like over here. I'm kind of moving over so that... My big head isn't in the way, but 45 colors, truth and justice is the name. There was only one AB in this one. Excuse me if I'm looking down too. I'm looking at the stats on my phone. 45 colors, 27.6 by 44.1 inches or 69 centimeters by 110 by three centimeters this diamond painting is my biggest one to date this is the largest diamond painting that i have completed um since i've been diamond painting and it was it was a labor of love this one took quite a while to do and there was a lot of confetti in it but still i enjoyed it because again this i did this one for a very good friend of mine and I love doing this for him and again he enjoyed this one also he's quite surprised to get one uh this size and he was telling me about the background or uh, the 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 backstory on this painting also and I believe this one is from a comic book I can't remember the number I have it saved in my phone but I can't remember exactly what it is right now because I didn't pull up the stats but I know where this particular uh picture that you're looking at this image I know where it's from this one is from it is from um DC so it doesn't have like a I forget the name of the artist if I remember I'll put it up somewhere or I'll put it in the uh, in the description, but he told me the name. I believe the last name is Wall, but I digress. Again, this painting here, like I had mentioned, a lot of confetti. Some of the drills, I believe, with this one gave me some trouble. They were like sticking together, but I did persevere and, and go through it. Um, again, lovely details in this painting also with his muscles and his face and the cape was my favorite, again, to do just it was a it was a labor of love like i mentioned but i enjoyed doing this one as well and again i didn't add any enhancements to this one i just you know just did it as is i mentioned there was only one ab in this one i can't remember where the ab is uh exactly in this canvas i'm sure you see that in the picture in picture that's uh above or next to my big old head right now but yeah um this painting is, it turned out nice. I really, really like it. And so does my friend. Again, this is Truth and Justice um, from DC Comics from Diamond Art Club. And that there concludes my finishes for 2023. So again, let me know what your finishes are in 2023 again these are one of my favorite videos to do is just seeing what everybody has completed this year in 2023 some people out there in the diamond painting community they do um, monthly reviews or monthly recaps i love those too but just a full year of recaps of what you all have done i would love to see your projects because it's, it's just amazing to see, I like to see if, for example, if you've done the same ones I've done, if you've done some different, there may be some canvases out there that I don't have yet that I would want. So again, I look forward to seeing that. 
I'm gonna stop rambling right now because this video is long enough, but once again, I wanna say thank you so, 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 so much for stopping by my video. Don't forget, don't forget to hit subscribe and to like the video, share the video, leave a comment, say hi, talk to me. Again, in closing, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year if you're seeing this in the future. And we're going to see what 2024 has to bring. I will see you all next time. Really, really soon I will because I will be kidding up something really, really soon. So I will see you again this year in 23 for one more video. Okay, one more video. And then we're going to go full speed ahead in 2024. All right. Again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.